Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at lollipop chains or my favourite over video games as a late teen. And luckily Dragami Games have remastered it. There's a few minor gripes before we get into this. I know there's been a lot of controversy. A lot of people are saying that they're, they're not keen on it. Because they've repopped it and got rid of the original soundtrack. Some of it's still there, some of it isn't. But, you know, you kind of have to expect that with licensing issues. and They're not going to be able to get every license for the game. Especially not a game like this in 2024. It's just unreasonable to, to sort of expect. And I'm not sort of backing the developers up on this. It's, it happens time and time again. I mean, at least they are not going to unlicense whole game like Marvel did with the On White Lines and franchise and Deadpool. So yeah here we are Lollipop Chainsaw. Now currently I've only spent about three hours in this game but I think that's all I need really to start off in the high school stage one. Obviously I've only done three stages so far in the three hours or two stages and or to the end of the third and then give it up. But Everything's pretty much as you'd expect. This cut, cut scene. The images and oh, graphics on. Oh, it's hey, it's we'll a difficult one because they've made it more vibrant, and the original game was quite washed out. As you can see, the combat's still there. It's still your hack and slash. Still similar to if hey, if you haven't played Lollipop Chainsaw, but it's a bit like Oni Shambara, full of fan service, and it's just literally grinding your way. Levels, aiming to get to the next next part. Levels are linear. Um, not really much more I can say. The, the gameplay is just it's just hack and slash, but it's good. As you can see here, you have to collect things like your lollipops. What the hell was that? Most of your environment is breakable. As you can see, it's just a... I don't know. I, don't, I just can't put my finger on it. It's just a feel-good game. That's why I like, loved it so much when I was younger. Obviously, and the fan service that was in it. I'm not going to lie. When I was a 15-year-old boy watching this, watching this, playing this, I was like, oh, yeah, like... I'll have a bit of that. But revisiting it just brings back nostalgia. And if you're new to the series, then it's not an extortionately expensive game to sort of get into the into the genre and you know see why everyone is is into it. And like the cult sortness of Lollipop Chainsaw. I'm not saying that's a massive game back in the day. It was just typical cold game. It, it broke barriers, should we say. Obviously the content. Every couple of every couple of minutes or so when you save a survivor you, you're getting you know uh, you could say party humor, dad joke, whatever you want to call it really. That's royally effed up. Where's it? It's such a refreshing game to play. No! It's one of those games you can just put on, not think about it too much, but still enjoy it and take it for what it is. It's not like going through the categories. Trolls, they're decent enough. They're not. They don't feel too dated. They've not changed too much in the controls. It is. As I remember it, to be honest, I know they said they've changed bits and bobs, but I can't see it. What you'd expect in a hack and slash. Just look at all those colours just emanate. And we called the survivor. Uh, oh, I'd say. For what I paid for it, the, the 34 quid is 100% worth it. The, the controls, decent enough. The content, probably keep you busy for about 
say six to seven hours if you're not collecting everything. But to really to collect everything, you're gonna to have to complete this game two, three times over. If if you're like my dad and you want to 100% it, so there's plenty of replayability. Sounds like we've already covered that, the licensing and all that crap. But I think the songs they've replaced it with, then like certain songs, then they're not bad. They certainly fit the game, they're not out of place. Alright, brief pause and I got, I got a bit too into the game then. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those games that you're going to either love it or you're going to hate it, but it's so refreshing to have have this get get a remaster and be put on Steam as well. I mean, anyone worrying about the um, anyone worrying about the licensing issues, and you, you can download a mod that puts the original music in the games. Not really a problem there. I mean, the enemy variety is quite quite extravagant. You get to the end of the level, you never never really know what you're gonna get, and then suddenly, then suddenly this guy on a ship turns up who's absolutely like rocking the shit out of you. Or you know, it's it's so varied. Can't. Mm -hmm. Really scribe. How much this reminds me of um, the Onishambara series. Again, another great series. This gets looked down upon because it's got a girl as a lead who's scampily, or scampily, that was a terrible word. Skimply dressed. Um, just yeah. don't understand people. Especially with the Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade, like, say scandal. It wasn't a scandal. People just moaned because it was a woman who had her ass on show. People shun this game because they go, oh, it's just a purse. It's just a purse. No, the story's not bad. It's it's a bit slap, slapped together. But it's not terrible. Might work. Hey, Nick, we need to break through that wall. Can you uh, get a hand? Yeah, I can't really add anything else. I mean, I've enjoyed it. I've, I don't have a hand I'm happy here. I spent the 30 quid on it. Yet, but I don't really know what more you want me to say, to be honest. But what? Yeah, you just maybe I can connect go and fucking buy it. 30 quid. Use it. Huh? Um, I don't really want to spoil too much. Obviously, the premise of this game is. Boyfriend's head is on your ass because you had to cut his head off. We got bitten by zombies, and you're just going through exterminating all the zombies out of all of these zones, like schools, parks, um, yeah, just all around town. You, you are the the zombie hunter, right from a zombie family, zombie hunting family, and yeah, that's that's the premise of the game. You got these little mini games with Nick. All right, not the greatest, not not really the most creative, but it is a game from what 2011, 2012. Uh, yeah, not really much more to say. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been kind of a review, kind of an impression. Have a good one, and I'm signing off. Bye.